Right, here, right over here we got Jerry Kuzman and Jerry the big strong left-hander and I think he turned the whole season into success when he won that first game after the Mets had lost three to Pittsburgh and Jerry that was a, a great effort and got the Mets back on a five-game winning streak. Well it certainly didn't help but I think uh, everything started long before that. We got an 11-game winning streak and everybody's playing great balls ever since then. And this champagne burns. <laughs> it burns your eyes. There's no doubt about it. Over here, <laughs> over here, a fellow who had to dodge the sun for the last week or so, but he came through when he can it when he could get the light up. But I'm hey, Ralph, I just want to say hello to my hitting instructor and counselor, John Neely, if he's watching. Hey, been big about me all year. Mr. Laughs. Dad Laughs. <laughs> This is we couldn't have done it without him, could we? No, the greatest in the world. All our friends down here in first day. Oh, here's Ken Boswell. Ken Boswell, who came on with a great surge in the last half of the season. And Ken, you finished so strong that you really picked up the slack when Cleon couldn't play because of the injury. Well, well you know, you just like to get hot when it counts, I guess. And I was just lucky. And I'm glad for the whole team. I tell you what, I'm glad we won it here in New York. I think they deserve it more than we do, almost. Well, I'm certainly sure the fans are appreciative of the whole effort, and they certainly showed it out there tonight. I tell you what, you couldn't see a happier clubhouse than this ever, I don't believe. I don't think we'll be able to top it. It's like I told Tom Seaver, you guys just don't have any fun. Hell, this is, I tell you what, we've been holding it back, really, you know, just for this night, and we're just letting it hang out tonight. Well, we'll more before the night's yeah. over, too. Hey, we? keep, keep <laughs> laughs open, killer, because we'll be there after a while. Ken Boswell and Art Shamsky, and uh, along here, I don't know whether it's safe. Who else have we got around? <laughs> Come on in. Nolan Ryan. In here. Come on, right here, Nolan Ryan, and look out, this whole thing's going to collapse right here. Room Walker. Room walking on air, not going right, to be a Right, absolutely. Well, Nolan, you had a great year when you got out of the service and came back, and I know you're glad to be a part of it, and it's a certainly a great thrill to have you with the ball club. Well, yes, it is, Ralph. It was a short year for me, but what part I was in, I really enjoyed it. I know at the beginning of the year, it looked like you might be playing for Atlanta, and we might have Joe Torrey, and here you are. You're on the winner. Well, I'm glad to be here. Well, we're glad to have you here. Room Walker, your pitching staff certainly finished strong. They did, they did a great job. They've been great all year. You've got to be a very proud and happy I'm very proud. Right? I've never been prouder in my life. I tell you, this was some kind of a night. It's been quite a night. It's been quite a year for us, Lindsay. And Gil certainly was a happy man. I know he? he's very happy. Everybody is. Absolutely. All these guys can be happy. Everybody contributed to this uh, Ab race. Absolutely. It was a 25-man effort. It sure was. Rube Walker, the pitching coach. And who you got over there? I got a fellow here that's everybody. Yogi Barrett, he's got to do a few of these champagne parties with the Yankees. How's this compared to any of the others, Yogi? Well, it's been great. Uh, you know, Ralph, it's always great to win the first one. You know that. It certainly is a great thing, and uh, you guys all did a tremendous job with this ball club, keeping them up and keeping them going. Well, we got another, another pick three to go, Ralph. We got to take them, then get the big one. Oh, that that looks one. like the spirit is there. Oh, it's here. That, I, and we didn't back him. We won it. Congratulations again. Thank you. Okay, Lindsay, how's it burn? Burns a little bit, doesn't it? Yes, sir. I always thought you started to drink this stuff. But we had a bar, so burns your eyes. I never knew that before. Huh? Right here we got a fellow named Tug McGraw, who beautiful, 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 beautiful. was a great relief pitcher for the Mets all the way down the line. And Tug, great to have you be a part of it. I just hate to blow my cool tonight, Ralph. I think you can. I've been trying not to get excited all year, but I can't help it now. You can jump up and down all you want. Woo! Jump, baby, jump. You can jump now, Tug. Yeah. Perfectly all right. That was great. This is it. Well, again, congratulations. And over here, we got a fellow, I think, who deserves a lot of credit. Coming up, Johnny Murphy. Ron, thank you very much. Thank you, Lindsay. Wonderful. Here's John Murphy coming. Here's Don Grant. Don Grant coming up along with John Murphy. Don, a big night for you, I know. Yes, very big. And uh, we're very appreciative. The fans have been great. And our team finally caught up to our fans. Well, they did, and the fans are having a wild night of jubilation. <laughs> And right here we got Don Cardwell, and Don did a tremendous job for the Mets in the last month, six weeks of the season. Don, really a great job. Listen, I feel as happy right now as I could ever possibly be. This is uh, my first time in about 18 years or 16 years, and I think it's great. And we got two more to go yet, and we're going to go all the way. Oh, okay. Hope you do. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Joe Pignatano. Joe, it looked great from up in the stands. How did it look in the bullpen? Terrific, terrific. I, we had a better shot than the other boys because we could get away. They couldn't get away. 
Joe, I know you've been through this sort of thing before, but I've never seen one quite this jubilant. No, uh, I'll tell you what, Lindsay, this is the first time I've had champagne. The last time we won a pennant, by golly, we got Coke. That was in the Coliseum. <laughs> this is a touch of class. Class, all the way. Eddie Yost, you've been in baseball. You never played in the minor leagues. You were in the majors years and years. This is your first championship. It's got to feel great. It really does, Lindsay. I'm thrilled to death. I just hope we can go and win it all. Well, that's the name of the game now, right. isn't it? Right. Get right on going. Eddie, congratulations. Thank you very much. Year. Our wife, the mighty might coming up here now. You you can... <laughs> what great thing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't mention it. Jack Goro. Oh, yeah. Give me Rod some Gasper. Yes, sir. Let's see, let's see how he opens this. Let's see yeah, if he does I, it well. I don't water, man. Water. Let's see. I don't know. I, just pour. I don't know if the guy from Akron, Ohio does yeah, that yeah, too yeah. well. We'll find out right quick, yeah. Not much practice. <laughs> this is great coming from New York and be able to win a, be a winner in New York. Oh, in my hometown. It's really great. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Mm. Got to be a great night for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I think the fight is on. <laughs> Straight night, Lindsay. Absolutely. Oh, man, there he is. Red, Wayne Garrett. Wayne, great night for you. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Gary Gentry, have you been up here, Gary? If not, get back. Absolutely. <laughs> you bet. Absolutely. Just about. Just, just about right, 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 Gary. Gary, it was a great night for you, wasn't it? Oh, great night for everybody, right, especially me, for me. Tell me the best possible way to finish it to start with a five-run lead. Is that right? That's right, but I... No, and you look like you can use a drink. Well, you're very... <laughs> you're very kind. <laughs> you're very kind man. Thank you. Gary, you don't need Gary, that's a fine game you pitched tonight. What, what do you think of Brock? Uh, he's kind of, he's, all, he's over there. Though. <laughs> if I can see, I think it's Ed Cranesville. Yeah, Lindsay. That's it. I'll hold this for you, yeah. Lindsay. You I want me to hold it? it? Yes, thank all you right. very much. I've had two gallons of that in my eyes. I'll hold this for you, Lindsay. Thank you kindly. Well, <laughs> hey, again. Uh, again. <laughs> it is. I'm willing to go through that, believe me. Jim Bibby. Jim Bibby, Amos Otis. Amos Otis and Big Jim Bibby right here. We can't be singing now. We can't be singing now. Everybody wants to sing a song. Well, sing a song. Sing a song. Right ahead. Sing a song. I love all you Mets. I love all day and every day, is it? Right there. There we go. I we go, baby. Yeah, not too bad. Fellas, don't get them uniforms dirty. I'm glad this jacket stands up. This this Julie Adler special jacket is standing up rather well. So here comes Ralph Kiner back here now to take over, and I'll go dry out. You're not. You have no chance to dry out. There's no way in the world. Well, as you can see, this celebration here. The first one, and certainly it's going to set a precedent. The celebration will go on longer and longer and longer, and uh, it'll be a gala night for the New York Mets, right, rightfully so. They certainly have earned every bit of it, and uh, they have been looking forward to celebrating here in New York rather than on the road when they would win it. There was no doubt in their minds that they would win it, and they have won it here tonight, and they have won it going away. Coming from nine and a half games back of the Chicago Cubs to go on and win. So that's the story from the locker room as oh, oh, Nolan Ryan, our fastball pitcher, gets up here again. I want, I want to say one thing. Well, one thing one I thing. want to say that those guys in the lounge that are laughing at you. Yes, sir. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so with the last out, we'll swing on back to Lindsey Nelson. And that's the story for the medical clubhouse. And so it happened in September of the year 1969.